Hi everyone, it's me Jenny from your Health Matter channel and in our today's video, we will talk about postpartum depression treatment and how your husband or partner can help, how to go back to your normal life. This is part 2 of series on women's mental health. The first video was about postpartum depression, how long it lasts. So, let's get a start who is likely candidates of having postpartum depression. As with all mood disorder and instances of depression, a family history of the disease automatically predisposes you to becoming diagnosed. You are also more likely to have postpartum depression if you have suffered from depression prior to pregnancy or suffered from postpartum depression with a prior pregnancy. An unhappy or stressed marriage can also contribute to a woman's likelihood of developing the disorder. Women without close relatives or friends to discuss their feelings with are also more likely to become depressed. Many women feel ashamed of their feelings and disinterest in their baby when suffering from postpartum depression, so they do not share them with their spouse or loved ones. While it is understandable why a woman would feel this way, there is no need to be ashamed or feel guilty. Postpartum depression is no one's fault except for maybe hormones. If you think you may be suffering from postpartum depression, it is important to notify someone so you can seek proper treatment. Postpartum depression, when left untreated, can escalate into a more serious condition or leave you unhappy for a long time. What are the treatments for postpartum depression? Once you are diagnosed with postpartum depression, you can receive a proper treatment. In the most common forms of treatment for postpartum depression, it includes a combination of medication and therapy. The antidepressant can help restore the chemical balance to your brain, therefore lifting your mood and allowing you to enjoy life once again. And remember that it is also very important for women to continue their treatment plan until their doctor says otherwise. To stop medication suddenly is dangerous and increases the likelihood of a relapse. What is psychosis in postpartum depression? A small portion of women suffering from postpartum depression end up suffering from postpartum psychosis. The depression in these women has escalated out of control to the point where they hear voices, hallucinate, and fantasize about the death of their baby. This is often characterized by command hallucination to kill the infant or delusions that the infant is possessed according to healthyminds.org. Postpartum psychosis can tragically end in infanticide. So, treatment for mental disorders is very important. It can really save lives. If you have postpartum depression, what your partner can do? Sometimes, a woman's husband or partner may not understand just what postpartum depression is and place guilt on the woman. In most cases, your partner is willing to help you and be there for you, he just may not know how. The partner of a woman with postpartum depression can do several things to help speed up the healing process. This includes Number 1. Make yourself available. Many new fathers are feeling overwhelmed too. But you can help your wife considerably by making yourself available to her. Be open to talk and listen to her feelings. 
Number two, don't judge. Being judgmental of your partner's feeling can be incredibly detrimental to her health. And with your help, she can get better faster. Number three, take on responsibilities. You moms feel overwhelmed. You can help her deal with it all better by cleaning up the house, cooking meals, and taking care of the baby more often so she can rest. Number four, be observant. If the mother of your child is acting strangely, shows no interest in the baby at all, or does not care about her own life, contact her doctor immediately. If you have postpartum depression, how to get back to your normal life? Having a baby changes everything. As glitch as it sounds, it is true. Regardless of whether you had a baby a month ago or 10 years ago, having a child creates a whole new set of demands in your life. But of course, you can regain some bit of normalcy in your life after the upheaval of having a newborn settles down. Redefining normal for your life is essential to being happy. When you have a baby, you will no longer be able to go anywhere. You won't at any time. You have to consider your baby in every decision you make. But the sooner you accept this, the happier you will be. Knowing when to ask for help can also take a bit of the burden off of you. You cannot be expected to take care of your child every day and night without a moment's rest for yourself. You should have a close friend or relative babysit every once in a while. So you can take a nice long bath, read a book, or spend the night out with your partner. Getting back to normal also involves regaining the body back you had prior to pregnancy. While you won't go back to state thin right away, you can certainly begin to up your exercise level and lower your caloric intake within a few weeks after giving birth with your doctor's permission of course. Becoming a mother is a life-changing event, but it doesn't mean you have to change your entire life. Keep your hobbies and interests alive by planning time to participate in them. Keep your love life alive by taking time out to spend with your partner. You can go out to dinner, see a movie, or just have a nice relaxing night at home without baby. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to all mothers out there, postpartum is not your fault, but your symptoms are real. Get treatment now. You will recover from this common condition in new mothers. And when you do, I hope you will share your story with every mom you know. We all need to talk about postpartum depression. Have a nice day everyone. Thank you.